plaintiff, Paul Kurtz, says he was at a bar one night watching a game and he was pointing out another patron to his friends. However, the defendant thought Paul was pointing at him and as a result, walked up to Paul and assaulted him. So he's suing. Defendant Frederick Butler says on the night of the incident, Paul instigated the fight by cursing and threatening Frederick. Although Frederick admits that he punched Paul first, he insists it was in self-defense. Tell me what happened. Thank you, Your Honor. Well, on the night of January 7th of this year, I went out with a few of my friends to, uh, we were gonna watch a Badger basketball game at a local establishment. And within 10 minutes of, or so of being there, I was in an ambulance bleeding profusely on the way to the, to the ER in town. And it was because of the defendant to my left. You all know each other? Never seen him before. Really? What happened? I was in the place and I had about three, uh, I think three of my friends there. And there was a person in there who was in this police report. He was in there and he had caused trouble with one of my friends weeks before. The defendant. Not this defendant, this, this third party. Mm -hmm. And my friends wanted to know exactly who this person was and he happened to be in the same place that night. So I pointed him out roughly from me to you away. I pointed at him, I said, that's the guy right there that had a, a run in with one of my friends. And then I basically pointed at him again because a couple of them didn't see. And then as I pointed at him again, uh, the defendant leaned over in my line of sight and said, you talking to me? And I said, no, I'm looking no, at sir, him. No, sir, that's not what happened. I'll that's let not. you give me a sign. Go ahead. And then I said, no, I'm looking at him. And then the next thing you know, I'm standing, there's, can I kind of sure. show you how, if this is the corner of the, of the bar here, the, the seat, it seats probably about three people. And then, you know, I was standing right here and he was about that angle away. And so I turned this way and I seen him, which I thought he set something down. And at this brisk pace, he, I seen him walking like this through the bar, kind of pushed some people. And at that instant, That's when I seen him, either, yeah. when I seen him coming that way, I thought for a second, I thought he's not coming at me. I don't even know who he is and I'm not even talking to him or about him. And then I turned this, as I was coming like this, I didn't square up on him and I didn't have time even to defend myself. So at that time he hit me with full run like that. That Got is not this the one. case either. And then he hit sir. me again right here. My glasses were on the floor and then all kinds of people. Why do you think us. he did that? Came all the way over there just because you pointed and you told him, uh, I don't, I'm not pointing at you. And I, I don't want to speculate what somebody okay. does or doesn't do before they come into a bar, but just his mannerisms from our preliminary uh, hearing up in, up in our hometown, a completely different person. Very well respected. I mean, I, I respect the guy after getting to meet him, you know, mm -hmm. briefly. But that night, there was something, there was something in his eyes. You tell me what happened, sir. Uh, yes, sir. I, um, I have a very different account of what happened that day. Mm -hmm. um, I have only been in the bar. I there's two doors, your honor. Uh, I walked in the rear door. Walked walked to. I didn't even get to order a beer. It was a long day. I was with another buddy of mine, and. Uh, I was standing there, my buddy went to the bathroom and I was standing next to the gentleman that he was, you know, that something was, happened mm -hmm. weeks prior. And um, Mr. Kurtz- How far away were you all from him? He was right, it, it, you know, about from me to you away. You know? Go ahead. And um, what Mr. Kurtz left out is uh, when he was pointing, he was very, very agitated. He, he mm -hmm. was, you know, like it's, it's one of his friends had, I guess, gotten in a fight previous. Mm -hmm. So he was upset and pointing and swearing and, um, and I, I was caught off guard. There's three Your people Honor, there. There's no way to Let hear me. Finish. There's there's three people sitting at this table. I've never mm -hmm. I've never met any of them, sir. And uh, I, I asked him, you know, what's the problem? From the I, distance. I, yeah. You I, you know, I, I was like, you know, what's the problem? You yelled I've met, from yes, the sir. distance. Uh -huh. I, I said, what's the problem? You know, obviously there's a misunderstanding uh -huh. because I've never met what him. What did he say? He swore at me. You know, he he, he said he asked me what the. I was looking at and I was kind of taken back by it. I was like, wow, you know, so I, I walked over there and then uh, as I walked over to him, you know, just because I, I, I'm not a very violent person. Why did you walk over? I, I wanted to get the misunderstanding. Obviously, he was mad about something. I know. And, I, and I, I have no idea. That. Why did you walk over to him? I, I was going to discuss what you know, what was going on, why, why he was mad at me, because I've never met the gentleman before. Okay, but you just said you felt hostility. He had cursed you. 
Yes, sir, he did. So why do you walk over to a person that curse you and engage a person who is hostile towards you? I, I, I don't have an answer for that. All right, that. so what happened when you So as there? I walked over to him, Mr. Kurtz had a beer in his hand and he put his, put, you know, put his beer down or whatever. And as I was walking over to him, um, he swore at me again and then kind of pushed me. And, and yes, sir, I it's did. It's not true. You're I, I swore at you and pushed you. Yes, sir. And, and, and he, when he pushed me or whatever, it was just a natural reaction. I was scared. There was three of them, mm -hmm. one of me. I didn't know and what to you do. You were scared all alone. I, I was, yeah, my buddy was in the bathroom, so I was standing yeah, there by myself. you walked over to him. <laughs> terrified. Yes, sir. Terrified. Right. <laughs> Not exactly terrified. Now, that doesn't even make sense to you, does it? That's why, <laughs> that's why you put your head down and grin. Three guys are there. They're looking hostile. You're scared. I'm terrified, but yet I'm going to walk over there when I should just stay where I'm at, or I should call security who might be at the bar, or I should call the police, or I should leave the bar because there appears that three guys want to fight me, and I'm terrified. Instead, you walk over to the three guys. Go ahead, sir. So what happened? Well, he says he hit you after you pushed him. Well, yeah, Your Honor, I know it, maybe there's a feeling of guilt after something like this happens. It's something that's unprovoked. I was, you know, I didn't have a, any time to defend myself. Obviously, if I could have squared up on him and put my hands up, I mean, I'm big enough to defend myself. But as soon as he came over, as fast as he came over and at that brisk pace that he threw the first punch with his weight coming through, that's what put my my uh, tooth through my lip, which I'm going to have yes, to show you these please. pictures. And then he got me again, and he got me in the upper lip, and that one was a little less severe because he was That's in not true either, position. sir. I hit him one time. Mm -hmm. And the police How report... How is $5,000 worth of damage, though? Well, I got a big... I got a scar right here. There is one there. You were scared all alone. I, well, I was... Yeah, my buddy was in the bathroom, so I was standing there by myself. Yeah, you walked over to him. <laughs> terrified. Yes, sir. Terrified. Right. <laughs> Not exactly terrified. Now, that doesn't even make sense to you, does it? That's why, <laughs> that's why you put your head down and grin. Plaintiff Paul Kurtz says one night when he was at a bar, the defendant assaulted him, despite the fact that they had never even met. How much was your uh, doctor bill? Well, my insurance did pay my doctor bill. I know okay. you I, want damages for um, what occurred. Well, the pain and suffering, also right. having a sore jaw, headaches that I'd never mm -hmm. had before, that kind of thing. All yeah, right. And he, he he was charged with substantial battery, which is a class one felony in Wisconsin. It was All right. not true either, sir. You weren't charged. I I, I, well, I pled uh, no contest to a misdemeanor battery. And what happened? Uh, I I have a fine to pay. Why did you plead? No contest. Uh, Why my, didn't you my, defend I had, to, I, had, I had spent money on, to retain an attorney, mm -hmm. and he told me, you know, if you take it to trial, we were going to take it to trial. He said, but if you lose, you're at the mercy of the courts mm -hmm. as far as your punishment. I have a very good job. Mm -hmm. I can't have a felony on my Public record. Public defender would have told you that. How much did you pay an attorney to tell you to plead guilty? Uh, $2,000, sir. So. In the future be a public defender because sounds like you don't mind pleading guilty just at the advice of a lawyer without evaluating it on your own. You knew that the man pushed you first. There were people at the bar. Does anyone have police reports which show that uh, the witnesses who saw this incident indicated that he pushed you? Um, no, sir. I know. That's why you pled guilty. $5,000 for the plaintiff. He admitted to it in court. He was sentenced in court. Have a good day. I don't hold any grudges against you. I mean, we are from the same town. We've never met. And I know that in the future, we can probably be in a place and, and it will be totally civil. Bad things happen to good people. It's the heat of the moment, it's, things happen. It's stuff like, like that's happened to me. So I don't hold any grudges against you. Uh, I don't think you're completely honest, but nevertheless, I'm, I'm sorry it happened. I apologize, too.